Mm -hmm. So I just finished doing other things for the day. I want to do videos. Guess what, guys? I'm about to film with my mobile phone. This phone is giving me a problem, but I intend to film with it. I get better. I don't know. Like, this whole camera thing, I don't understand it. Sometimes it's... Good day everybody. Hi, welcome back again and thank you for joining me. Today is my first official video on here on TikTok. I have little to no idea on how to go about this. But then, my name is Lillian and I live in Ghana. I do vlog around lifestyle in Ghana and all the beautiful places, the best holiday destination in Ghana. That is what I do on my channel. So please, to keep up with my videos, kindly follow me on YouTube, okay? But from time to time, I'll be bringing some videos here. I really don't know how to go about it. That is why I have not been posting videos on TikTok. So, but I'm going to take some time and do this, learn some things, and then I'll be dropping some videos here. There are a lot of things there. Let me vlog this one. You're not going with it. there yeah so this is what i used to do on my channel so in case you are new here and you're wondering why is she showing us it's something i usually do all right so i'm i'm more of a community based youtuber than just a content creator so i like to interact with the people around me i like to share my life with my viewers my subscribers my amazing friends and family that's what i call you all so i like to do this from time to time share some days in my life so in this vlog it's gonna be some days in my life where um things you Things are none of your business, actually. I like to make them your business. I like put it put it on your face. I mean, on your faces. So I'm heading to my senior friend's place to pick up some Nigerian um, food items, like I mean, soup condiments, like a goosey or pho, and um, whatever I see when I get there, I'll grab. Trust me. So she is my senior friend and a Nigerian who lived in the United States, then decided to move back to Africa. And then she felt like Ghana was okay, perfect for her. And she have been here since last year. So let's go to our house and see what we can grab. The goal is to quickly go before the girls return from school. Though if they come back from school and I'm not at home, it's not a problem. They are always sorted by the grace of God. I'm so thankful for that aspect of my life. I can actually be away for some days or even a week if I want to, and they will be fine. So we are finally here. She bought all these, and I said, let me show you guys in case. I heard that this works good for cancer, so that they are anti-cancer, you know, they are good for the virus. I mean... So please and en en endeavor to eat some of this um, fruit. If you can find some, I beg you. I heard that it's very good for cancer. So please eat them, okay? Nobody is praying for that, but just eat them like that. So of course, I've heard that it's good for cancer. We must chop one inside before I go back. <laughs> so this woman is very generous as a matter of fact. I'm never going to show her face. I've never shown her face before. And of course, onto Nigeria woman now, you see, he made, oh, let's I forget that Ghanaians do do this too. They do eat um, palm nut soup. So they eat a lot. It's a big uh, deal here in Ghana. So just like we in Nigeria as well. So, but she had made um, banga soup and she made ofaku. So she had that. I uh, said, so let me show you guys palm kernel. So these are the things I'm taking. Once I come here, she's like a mom. When I'm leaving, I always go like with a lot of things from my house she'll pack things for me and i'll take them in good faith i'm humble i'm excited so i go here and the rain is dropping away the rain is falling seriously you can see i'm holding something in my hand when i come here i'm everywhere i'm free so her kids are not home they are all they have all gone to school some are in uni some are in um yeah her kids are out of the house basically 
so let me just um enjoy myself i thought i wanted to just enjoy chill small before going but the rain trapped me i'm trapped here so i don't know how i'm gonna leave this place so but maybe and i didn't even come out with my phone so finally i left i'm back home and uh, this is my Ghanaian sister her name is Ya. so today we are preparing um she came around she's been around for some days okay we are preparing light soup this is Ghana version of our own pepper soup or white soup ufin sala according to the evils but their own here is a uh, light so soup and that's what we're making Ghana. for white this is rice. dinner yeah this is the day she came so we make uh ghana boiled rice ghana. plain rice this is so not made in ghana just so you will know this is made in, in it's foreign their own version of uh what we eat in nigeria like this our own foreign rice great. is different from ghana own just so you know so we're having that for lunch stroke dinner mm. and um, before you know it the girls will be if home this so car, this is eh? all chilling and having a good pain. time she's my little you sister okay don't be surprised wrong. i have a family Let in ghana as place. well okay not just a family i have families in ghana but she is very very family i don't know if you understand yeah. all right so this thing you're looking at here is butter this is butter okay margarine this one is blue pan the blue one and this is onion salt and water and the yam so i'm going to cover it up for it to boil yeah. so the thing we are gonna add so this is the butter that i made to the yam so i have these two tomato here left that i used to prepare light soup so i'm gonna use it with Okay, see so some pepper. I'm gonna take this one. I like pepper. Mm. This one is too big. Let me look for a smaller one. Yeah, this one is perfect. Mm. Very. So stay tuned. This is what I came up with. Mm, this is a Nigerian version of um, you're done. This one's small now. Yeah, it's okay. So I put the sauce now. I should put for you. Yes. Because you know you have to take plenty. Because you're shy. <laughs> yo yo yo. Yo, 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 so this is how me I'm having mine. Mm. Alright, so today is the day I'm going to be telling the biggest story ever told on my, on my channel as a YouTuber. Trust me, I'm innocently doing my things. I mean, like, I'm just going on with my life. Seriously, when this found me. So, I'm coming live to talk about deliver the message that um my liberian lady contacted me to talk about to tell about herself in regards to the story of mama in the ashanti region of ghana so we are done with the video i hope that you have seen that video when i say it's the biggest story ever told on my channel it is because it got to do with sensitive issues like very very important uh issues matter so that is why and it has nothing to do with me as a person so it's the biggest story ever told yet on my channel all right so today i want to bake bread with my kids um i usually buy bread for them once it's um weekdays i mean for for breakfast to go to school eat in the morning and go but this time your girl is very very when they say very broke and um, extremely broke but I have all these things in the house and then i told the girls let let us bake a bread a uh, bread <laughs> so we have flour and we have a lot of other things like egg sugar and the butter and all those things so i did a bit of research on youtube the only thing i know i don't have is uh those that baking pan but uh, we shall improvise it. all right so let us bake our uh, bread a little so that the girls can have for breakfast tomorrow being monday 
I want to dare myself just to see if I can bake this. If I just want to test and see if I'm, I'm able to do this. So, and it's big fun here. The girls are happy. I'm happy. We're just cool, man. We're just cool. I feel like I have, I work a lot, you know, I work a lot. So like I work very hard. Sometimes I don't have time to play with the girls. So when I have time like this, I like to use it to play with them just to make them, you know, realize that I'm home. I'm available. I'm ready. I'm always available for them. So we we trying to make this baking as fun as possible. My kids uh, can talk to me about anything, okay? But sometimes I'm really busy and I have a lot to do. Just in the house, they have so much. So I've set my bread like this. So I'm going to put it inside the oven and start baking. Because I don't have a um, pan, the baking pan, I decided to use this um, fry pan <laughs> to put it inside the oven and just bake anyways. So it came out lovely. And the following morning, this is this was what they had for breakfast. Everybody was happy. They love it. So next time I'm going to do this, the only thing is to make it floppier, to make it softer. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Love you.